Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. We're taking a little walk around Marsden Moor today and we're starting right here at Buxton's Edge. You can see the little reservoir down there. Now let's see if I can uh, talk to you guys and walk on this uh, rugged moor without breaking my leg. <laughs> Whew. It's a beautiful evening, very windy though up here on Buckstones. Now Buckstones can be found on the A640 Huddersfield Oldham Road. Um, and it's a place where I've come plenty of times. In fact, I've done other vlogs here because it's very scenic and people come up here just to look, park up and just have a look at the view. And in, uh, in the right uh, climate and the right weather conditions, uh, you get the hang gliders and the uh, model aircraft uh, flyers around here and it can be quite a good day out. Now, can I do this uh, one-handed? Yes. Oh yeah. Water. But is it? <laughs> it is. It is water. Um, now then, it is a beauty spot. I've just come down from the top. It's not as windy, but it's still pretty windy down here. I'm going to take you down to the reservoir because it's ages since I've been down there. And uh, like I say, it's a beauty spot, but it, uh, it holds an ugly past. Is this going to be one of them stories, Rob, where people die? Can't we just go on a walk, a nice walk? Nobody has to die. Well, unfortunately today it is one of them walks. Someone's going to die. At least one person. <laughs> uh, 1903, we're going way back to 1903. And on uh, Buxton's Edge here, there was a double murder. On the 9th of September, 1903, two bodies were found, the bodies of two gamekeepers here on Marsden Moor. And they were the bodies of William Utley and Robert Kenyon. The grim discoveries were one of the most shocking crimes in the region's history. William Henry Utley, a 58-year-old gamekeeper, was found in a gully called Ben Clough. And his dog, also called Ben, guarded his master's body until he was discovered. Utley had gone out onto these moors about 2.30 the day before and was never seen alive again. Two hours later, the body of Robert Kenyon was found in undergrowth in a gully called Deep Clough. He'd been shot in the head at close range. There was no sign of a struggle. Now, James Kenyon, Robert's father, said that they had seen a guy called Henry Buckley out on the moors on the day of the murders. Hope you're enjoying the spooky vlog. I'm spooking myself out here all on my own. <laughs> I'm not on my own, you guys are with me, and I'm glad that you are. So where were we? Yeah, Buckley. Buckley was arrested, but even though he was arrested, his defense dismantled the eyewitness account of Kenyon. Uh, the weather was so poor, and uh, there's no way that Kenyon could uh, identify Buckley. There were also other witnesses that came forward to testify that uh, Buckley was not in the area, the same area of Moors um, during the time of the murders. And so there wasn't enough evidence and Buckley was set free. Now, such was the notoriety of this case. People came from all over the country and they were taken on guided tours to the gully and to the clough where the bodies were found. And uh, Mr. Kenyon, Robert's father, till his dying day still stood firm that Buckley was guilty and uh, there was no one ever charged with the murders and during the case it kind of revealed a community around here that probably knew more than they were letting on. All we do know is that William Utley and Robert Kenyon's murderer, or murderers, took their secret to the grave. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I took you down to the reservoir. I've really enjoyed it and hope you have too. The, uh, the Buckstones murders shocked the community 
and to this day remain one of the greatest mystery murders of the 20th century. Unsolved. Now, uh, if these moors could talk, maybe we'd get to the truth. Thank you for joining me on this chilling journey through history at uh, Buxton's Edge. That's it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, give me a like. Consider subscribing. I do upload regular videos. I don't know where I'll be next time, but what I do know is I want you with me. So until the next one, bye. <laughs>